Apocalypse Inc. Productions presents Five Minute Stories, written and read by Jennifer Brozek. Five Minute Stories, a little bit of story to last you all day. This story is called Finishing Touches. Sarah stood in Heather's studio. The scent of paint, oil, and turpentine permeated the air. In Sarah's mind, this was how an artist's studio should be. She liked to visit the studios of the artist she intended to buy from. It told her a lot about the painter. It also allowed her the opportunity to buy masterpieces at bargain prices. She stood in front of one piece of abstract art that fascinated her. It was black and white marble with splatters of red across it. Do you like it? Sarah smiled at the hint of insecurity in Heather's voice. This would be an easy purchase. Pet the artist's ego enough, but not too much. Offer about half of what the painting was really worth, then hesitate and rethink. She would go for the price. Uh, I do like it. It's, um, unusual. What's it called? It's the first in a series. I'm calling it my homicide series. There's more. Sarah glanced over her shoulder at the woman cleaning paintbrushes. Two, both smaller. I want to see them. Can you hang them up beside this one? Sure. Heather went into the other room and returned with two smaller paintings. She hung them up next to the larger one, just below eye level. After staring at the three paintings for a few moments, Sarah realized something. These are a set, a triptych. What do you mean? The red paint splatters. They're in line with each other. You've splattered them all at the same time. Heather grinned. I did. Not many people would notice that. But they don't have to be sold as a set. Each one stands on its own. I know, but I want the set. I like the idea of a homicide triptych on my wall. How much for the three of them? Heather hesitated, and Sarah didn't like that. She turned to the artist. Her game plan was shattered, but she didn't care. She wanted these paintings so badly she almost ached for them, and she didn't know why. How much for all three of them? I'm sorry, but they really aren't ready for sale. I still have work to do on them. Work? What work? I like them as is. Heather shook her head. They aren't done. I can't sell them until they're done. Sarah turned back to the paintings and stared at them, looking for the flaw that Heather saw. She saw none. Artists were such an annoying lot, dissatisfied perfectionists when they had perfection before their eyes. She looked again. They were perfect to her, and she was the buyer. Insecure artists be damned. She crossed her arms and said, I'm not leaving without these paintings. Sarah listened to Heather move about the room and come up behind her. Heather didn't say anything. The two of them waited in silence until Sarah lost the standoff. Well? Well what? How much do you want for... She turned to face Heather as she spoke, and stopped as she saw Heather with the baseball bat cocked, ready to swing. What? Was all she had time to say before Heather did exactly what she looked like she was about to do, and hit Sarah in the face with the bat. Blood flew from Sarah's broken jaw and crushed nose to splatter on the wall behind her. Wounded noises mewed from what was left of Sarah's mouth as she stumbled about and fell against the chair. Beautiful. Heather looked from Sarah to the paintings on the wall, now splattered in Sarah's blood. Just a few more finishing touches. She paused to shift Sarah into position on the chair before bringing the bat down on her face with full force, splattering blood everywhere, though, most importantly, on the paintings. Just a few more finishing touches, and they'll finally be ready. Apocalypse Inc. Productions hopes you have enjoyed this story by Jennifer Brozek. If you would like to read it, or others like it, it is available in 5-Minute Stories, Volume 2, by Jennifer Brozek, on Amazon.com.